Okay, this is a classic um, boosting your Duckware in your system without running all new Duckware. Kind of working with what you have to get more airflow. Because this system in the beginning, this was the supply for the, the whole unit. An 8x16, I think it is. And the same thing on the other furnace. It was an 8x16. Definitely not enough airflow for uh, an entire unit or half of a home. But this is a very nice, this is a classic. Just boosting what you have without running all new ductwork or having a company come in and redo all your ductwork. This is very expensive. So, uh, inexpensively, boosting your airflow. Now, in this system here, When you see the monitor here, now originally it had this one 8x16 in it. Not enough. So what happened here is three 8 inch round pieces of duckware were tapped into the bonnet and run separate from the original duckware. Now running 8 inch is very inexpensive and can be had at the home center. So we added three more pieces of ductwork that could flow, what, five, six hundred CFM into the system. In eight inch, you can buy that at your home center. It's very easy to run. Very DIY way to boost your airflow. Now here's one that went right up into the ceiling. So that one was pretty easy. Two more went across. And we added them in, and they go from 8 down to 7 inch. You can see the reducer in there. And originally they came out of here. So we capped them off. Now, in this software, there is three runs that run that you cannot see up into the ceiling. And then they go to their, their, their rooms. So there is three more lines in here that you can't see. So we left that. This for them. Alright, for the return air. 8x24 and it goes into this I guess 8x6 or 16x8 and the system was restricted. Even in its form right now it is very restricted. So to boost that, what we did was we ran a piece of 12 inch. I think that's 12 inch. So 12 inch comes down, runs into the back of the furnace, which is tapped in. I'll show you how that was done. It comes across. And a piece was attached on to the 8x24 here. So it is directly into the return air. And that added a lot of airflow to the system. Now that continues over here, out of that. And it goes to another large return air. That I believe at some point in time was taken out or it might run up in the ceiling in a single joint bay. I really don't remember. Regardless, it wasn't enough return error. So that's how this was boosted with more CFM on the return error with this 12 inch line that runs across here. So we have an 80,000 BTU furnace and very inexpensively we rent Put the capacity, more CFM, and we didn't spend a lot of money doing it. And the system runs a lot better and a lot more efficiency, not being uh, choked off like that. And really, the 8 inch, no 12 inch, if you didn't have the means to buy that online or at your local uh, supply house, you could have run several 8 inch pieces across the ceiling here. And this is a high ceiling. 
thinking and away with that. And it would have done all right. So if you run four eight inches, which is a lot of dog work and a lot of your time, but still way cheaper than running all new dog work, that would have sufficed also. Now on, on the next furnace, it's the same thing. You look here, it's 16 by 8 up in here. It's not enough. The return is an 8 by 24. That reduces down to a 8 by 16. And it, it wasn't enough. And you look at it and you say, well, it's close. But it's not enough considering the duct work is uh, restricted later on in the system that you can't see in the walls going to the, to the unit. So here in this system, we tapped the 8 inch out of here, and we took that down, and that reduces down to 7, but we have an 8 inch in here. And this is the old tap for that. And here in the 7, the original 7s are still in the end. But this is the old tap, but we eliminated that from the system. And there still is not work that goes up into the ceiling that you can't see out of this main trunk. So we added a whole new run here, a whole new run of CFM directly on the bonnet. And there's one more here. It comes on the back of the bonnet, runs down, and you see it runs over. Sorry about all this running around. And I hope you can keep track of what I'm showing you. But it comes back through here, across the ceiling, that's another reducer in the salmon, and goes up into the, to the unit. So that is another motion CFM. Now it was the same situation with the return here. 16 by 8. So with this additional 12 inch, into a very big grill. We pushed the CFM into the return air by a lot of CFM. I'm not sure what, a, what CFM flows on a 12 inch run. I'm sure it's quite a bit. So we have more airflow that we put into the system. Now from that return air through the ceiling, there's probably a run in there Maybe not, I'm not sure if it was tanking on at some point in time, I don't remember. But what we did here, we boosted all the CFM in the return air in the supply, and we did it without spending a ton of money. And whatever reason, whatever your reason is, and you don't want an HVAC company coming in here and redoing all this and charging a six, seven grand. Maybe you have the money. Maybe you don't want to spend it. Maybe you don't like the, the HVAC company's owner driving around in his LT1 Corvette or his LT1 Camaro. I, whatever the reason is. This is a very good example of increasing CFM without a lot of expense. And half of this is DIY. The other half can be DIY if you made it that way. Say you ran 8 inch ducts instead of that 12 against the wall or up into the ceiling. And say you ran 2 or 3 of them. Or 4 of them. If you ran 4 of them, you probably got 800 CFM going into your return air that you didn't have before. So, I wanted to share this with you guys. It's a real nice example that someone did. Then post the here.